There's one person in the room that you don't know, boys and girls. Very special guest with us tonight, and I've mentioned his name earlier in the welcoming. That's Mr. Tony Ehrenrich. Mr. Ehrenrich has given us some of his time tonight to come and speak to you, to give you a little boost in what is happening in the world outside and maybe what is lying ahead for you too. Mr. Ehrenrich was born in Perth, completed his matric at Kelsey's River High School. He's completed his studies at Technical College and worked in the motor industry as a motor mechanic. He also studied at the Universities of the Western Cape, Cornell and Duke. Mr. Ehrenrich is a South African trade unionist who started out as the Deputy General Secretary of Kusati, managing the affairs of the Federation of Nation Level, and since 1999 is holding the position of Provincial Secretary of Kusati in the Western Cape. Kusati is the biggest trade union in South Africa, fighting for the rights of workers and for part of the tripartite alliance with the ANC. Mr. Henry, would you please come and invite us? Thank you very much, sir. It is an incredible honor and a very, very special privilege to have the opportunity to share this evening with you. I think, like anything, the way you're able to assess how people are is where they come from. And there's no doubt that the teachers who you've honored here tonight, those who have shaped your minds over the last few years, have done an incredible job. Just by the two speeches by the head girl and the head boy, and by the general sense of confidence and enthusiasm about this evening that's displayed by everyone. What is clear is that you have been prepared well for the future, and there's no doubt that the value that's been added to your lives by your teachers will stand you in immeasurable state into the future. So I hope that you appreciate that you will always have to be thankful for them for have inspired you in the way that they have, but also prepared you and shaped you for the many challenges that lie ahead of us. Tonight is a watershed moment for so one of you, so many of you, and it caps an incredible achievement. In South Africa, unfortunately, only 23% of all children who start out in school achieve matriculants. So the fact that you're sitting here tonight already says that you are amongst those who are going to shine the most brightly in South Africa. You are those people who we are going to depend upon for our futures, and we can only attest that our futures are in good hands, judging by what has come out of tonight. But having achieved the fact that you've got to matric, all that we can do as parents, as people who interact with you in different areas of life, is to call you to a higher purpose. To ask that you make sure that all of those things that were provided for you, that you provide that for others. Because so often in our lives we're able to achieve so much because we stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. And there's been many in our country who's inspired us with their greatness whether it's Nelson Mandela, whose party we celebrated this year, or A.W. de Clare, who played a significant role in the future of our country. Those are the heroes of South Africa. Those are the people who you are called upon to emulate. But the quality that they most embraced is the fact that they put our people ahead of their personal ambitions. And so there's a call to you to make sure that you respond in the same way. I know that many of you would have tried your best every day of your school life. There will be others who would have taken shortcuts here and there. But no matter what you've done up until this moment, the one thing that you know without any doubt is that having arrived at this moment is that from today onwards, of the next few weeks and the next few months, it depends on what you do, on how you apply yourselves during this last lap to show what you're going to put in place for yourself into the future. Often we called upon to always do better. And I think if anything, it's Nelson Mandela who told us that you've got to shine as brightly as you can. And don't be scared to shine to fear of outshining others. Because when you shine as bright as you can, you give other people the permission to shine also. And you, as I've said before, are part of the one-fifth of our children who make the thing. It's a challenge that we've got to respond to, and it's an area that we've got to make sure that we improve to a greater extent. And so as our country celebrates your successes, 
as we know that you're going to be the cornerstone of what the new South Africa is going to be built on, we value and look forward to the contributions that you make. Tonight is all about you. It's all about you celebrating what you've been able to achieve, but also taking stock of what it is that you're wanting to be doing into the future. But as ever, when an evening is about your highest moments, you know there are people who come forward and try to claim those high moments. And they are inevitably the people who are part of claiming those high moments are your parents. Your parents have sacrificed so much to bring you to this point. And so your parents themselves know that when they look at you and your successes, they hope that you give expression to their ambitions. And so they must celebrate tonight with you. They celebrate tonight with you as our communities celebrate them tonight with you also. Because when we look at what happens to our matriculants, when we look at the possibilities that they bring to our lives, we hope that our ambitions for what this country should look like, for what our people should become, is beholden to you and what you are able to do into the future. And so we want to see you striving to ever greater heights. We want to make sure that you become doctors so that it improves the health care of all of our people. We want to make sure that you become teachers in the future so that you can shape the generation's minds that will come after you to repay the debt that the teachers that you've encountered have invested in your lives. So those are the contributions we would call upon you to make. But mostly we want you to be anything and everything that your heart desires. Because what you think is the calling for your heart, what you think is the thing that holds you most dear, that is what you must pursue because it's that that will bring joy to our nation, will bring, that will be, that brings joy to our souls, and it's that that tells us what the possibilities are for the future, and what the trajectory of the country is into the future, because it's got to reflect our different ambitions, our different desires, and our different contributions, because as much as we receive, we must make sure that we repay that in some small way. South Africa is an incredible country. If anything, we know that it is alive with possibilities. The possibilities that ensures that you can be anything that you want to be. And our job as parents and as teachers and as people in the community is to make sure that you have the opportunity to be the best that you can be. To support you in every way that you can. And we know that in spite of the stumbling blocks in setting out on this journey of a new South Africa, there's now opportunities to help young people to achieve any of their dreams. And so, whether you want to confine yourselves to Cape Town, and many of you have no doubt grown up with the South Africa will be your base, or whether you will branch out into the rest of the world, we must make it possible. And so the government's made a commitment to make sure that the embassies across the world must reach out and support you in whatever way that it can, if you want to study overseas. If you want to study inside of our country, and there may not be the funds or the opportunities, the past staples, that's the rest of the government money, must provide the opportunities to those who want to enter into the technical field. But they must also make sure that those who want to respond to many of the important scarce skills that we have, that they support it in a very special way. That they are able to make sure that they respond to the challenges that exist. You've come to a point where your achievements must be celebrated. But you know that your matric certificate will be the passport into the future. It's a passport that you can write the amount of the check that you want to receive. All it takes, all it takes from you as young people, as learners, is dedication, application, and discipline. Because nothing comes easily in life. Those who are successful are those who apply themselves. And so we pray with you that you apply yourselves, that you take this opportunity, that you embrace the fact that you've come further than many children in our country that you embrace the fact that we look towards you to realize our potential. And so I'm sure tonight if I salute you for all that you are, for all that you've become, not only on my behalf, but on behalf of your parents and the teachers, the other learners in the school for whom you continue to be a shining beacon in your achievements. When I salute you for that, I salute you on behalf of everyone. And I wish you the very best in the future. Shine as brightly as you can and make us all proud. Good luck into the future and thank you very much for letting me share this evening with you. Mr. Henry, from our side, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for inspiring these students. 
because that is what they need sometimes. Because as we all know, there's difficult times ahead, final exams. But that is not what tonight is about. Thank you for your contribution.